So through the magic of a program called Riftcat V Ridge, I can actually play Steam VR on the Vive Flow. Now, is it slightly pixelized? Is there some degradation in the image? Yes, but that's because I'm also trying to capture that same stream over the same USB connection. We are about to play some of Pixel Strike games, Super Vectoroids, a fantastic Steam Same VR game. Kind of an old game at this point as well. Playing classic mode. So we're going to play some Super Vectoroids on the Vive Flow. Um, this is a Steam VR title. I have full head tracking and everything. We're going to play in classic mode. And this is a title that's been in perennial alpha state for a long time. Downward, upward, over. We just died. That's a okay. happens sometimes. You don't steer out of the way when there's a giant projectile coming at you. <laughs> we just shot ourselves to death there. I promise I'm not usually this terrible at this game, but I will say it plays pretty well in the Vive Flow. And I wanted to make this as kind of an addendum to my previous Vive Flow video because. People were curious if you could play PC VR titles. And the answer is, you can. Hmm. Here we go. 
And we died again. We got one more ship left. Let's see what happens. There we go. We finished a wave two. That's enough of this game. There we go. And I have to say, this looks fantastic. Um, the Vive Flow in Elite Dangerous Odyssey here with this title screen, it's this looks tremendous. Now, I, I, I really can't wait to get into space. Cloud, of course, Echoneer. Frame shift drive charging. I can read all of this text really well. I'm not used to being able to see the text very well in headsets, so that's impressive, especially when I'm streaming from the PC. The other thing I really like about the Vive Flow is the vertical FOV is much higher, and, and it's more like you have a circle around your eye. Um, eye size, or eye shape wise, as opposed to having a rectangle, uh, which is, is what I tend to see with Oculus headsets. Uh, so another advantage I'd say to this particular device, uh, are the blacks deep dark black? No, they are not. This is an LCD display. Um, so they are. There, there's a bit of gray, a little bit of brightness that shouldn't be there, but otherwise the detail in game is great in Elite Dangerous. I could totally see myself playing this. So it's Neo Art Space. It uses quest controls. It looks like. So it's not allowing us to walk. They sort of haven't figured out how to walk yet. Yeah. So I'd have to bind controls to get that one to work. But overall, pretty cool stuff. Let's try Simple Planes. This is another more recent game that's come out here. Just curious what it will uh, look like. Let's try flying. We have a single controller here. So we do have the ability to... Let's see if we can grab this model. It's going to be hard to do. Yeah, so without two controllers, um, Simple Plans doesn't steer very well. That said, though, it's almost playable. So, like, a lot of these games are almost playable. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick look at Steam VR running through Riftcats V Ridge on the Vive Flow. Just to show you that as a proof of concept, the Vive Flow can indeed run streamed Steam VR content uh, with kind of an emulated weird Vive wand, uh, but it works. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself, and thanks for watching. Bye bye now.